another day and another completed squad to show you folks. Uh, so, without further ado, these are my Mark V Armoured Heresy Assault Marines. And let's start with the Sarge. Let's bring the light down a bit, hopefully. <laughs> and take a look-see. So, Heresy Armour with all the studs across him. Lots of chains. Pair of lightning claws. Now these lightning claws are from the new Chaos Raptor pack. The backpack is from the old Chaos Raptors. So he's a he's a nice mix. And I've got to say, I really like the way these guys have turned out as a squad. Let's take a look at some more of them. Again, chains and trophies very, very much in, evident on, in evidence on this squad. They all have the old Raptor packs. And I can tell you getting hold of 20 of those was uh, an interesting experience. So my thanks definitely go out to uh, a couple of the guys at my local GWs that managed to sort of put a few packs aside as soon as they discontinued the old Raptors. So here we have one with plasma pistol. Two with plasma pistol, come on focus in. And again plasma pistol from the new Chaos Raptors in this case. Lots of chains, lots of trophies, lots of lightning. Number three with the plasma pistol. More chains for some motion. And number four with a plasma pistol. You can't help but love the fact that you can have four plasma pistols, five if you want to give one to your sergeant as well, in the uh, Heresy era assault squads. It's quite nice. Oh, let's have a look at some more of them then. I've been absolutely painting myself to death in the evenings with these guys. As I work away from home I tend to take a squad of 20 down with me and I take generally it takes me about two weeks to get through a squad of 20 or it did when I started getting through them now in about a week and a half. So as soon as I've finished one I start on the next squad. So yes I've done 20 Mark V Tactical Marines, the 20 uh, Mark II Assault Marines and now these 20 Mark V Assault Marines all throughout January and February. I've also done the six um, Scimitar Jet Bikes for the Command Squad and I've been working on all those flyers as well. All that I've got left to do now after this squad is the Cataphracty Terminators nine of those to go with the Praetor, my Sevatar model, nine of those to do, two Storm Eagles and the Assault Ram. So I shall be finishing the bases for the Assault Ram and the Storm Eagles, the buildings, we're doing those tonight after I've finished editing this video. Again, on this guy, more chains, more skulls. Oh, I am really looking forward to getting these Night Lords done so that I can A, do a full army video to show them off to you guys, because a lot of you have been asking for them, and B, so I can move on to another project. I am sorely, sorely tempted to pick my Tyranids back up again because I've not done a lot with my Tyranids for quite a while. So I figure I might show them some love 
However, I've also uh, slightly taken a step away from 40k, and my interest has been piqued by a game system called Malifaux by Weird Miniatures, which is. Uh, but it looks pretty interesting to me because you don't actually roll dice, it's all done with a deck of cards. The miniatures look absolutely stunning. And you can play a game with relatively few minis, so I don't need 20 man squads of Forge World models to play it. So it's, it's something I've been looking at. But this is all ponderings for the future once I get all these bad boys cleared out the way and done. Oh, on to the last few. Two chain swords, because you know, why not? Severed hand and some chains. And last but not least, another one that's dual wielding. The dual wielding is just for modelling purposes. These guys can't really dual wield as part of their rules, so he don't get doesn't get gunslinger. That's a different squad that will be coming later. But I just thought this guy would look pretty cool. So, Mark V Heresy Armour, old school Raptor backpacks, and the Mark V backpacks for these guys, I have put onto the old school Raptors. So, old style Raptors with the clawed feet and obviously started to do a little bit of a base coat on him and the Mark V Raptor backpacks which makes these guys um, a lot closer to the new Raptors because the new Raptors have assault packs very similar in style to that. Um, the only thing I really dislike about these old Raptors is in the warm they all fall forward so I've had to reinforce all of their bases with uh, staples and all sorts so they can take the weight. Now I'm going to have to go over that again. But uh, they're still really nice models and I really do like them. Anyway, um, thanks for watching guys. This has been all about the Mark V Assault Marines and you've had me having a little bit of a ramble over the top about future projects. So uh, for tonight we're moving on to the flying bases for the other bits and bobs. Whoop. So I've got to finish these buildings and then mount the flying stands in them so that my uh, lovely flyers will have something to go around on. That's the idea anyway. Um, thanks for watching folks, stay tuned and as per the norm I will see you again for more videos in the future. All the best guys, bye!